Okay, um, yeah. If you can see what's on the paper, you can see that in grade 11, we did the grade 11 concept, which are linear functions, parabolic functions, ex and exponential functions. We also did hyperbolic, but they are not relevant for grade 12 because they, they don't have inverse for grade 12. So, and excuse my handwriting, guys, but come on, you know it. So, yeah, um, for linear function, we have y equals to mx plus c. For parabolic, we had y equals to a into x minus p all squared plus q. m is a gradient, c is a y-intercept, a is for the shape of the parabola, p is the x-coordinate of the turning point, q is the y-coordinate of the turning point. And for exponential function, we have a for the shape where you draw your function, uh, whether it's, 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 it's going to be above the asymptote or below and this one is going b is going to tell you whether the function is increasing or decreasing p is a horizontal shift whether it's going left or right and this one is a shift of your asymptote which is the whole function it is also the asymptote q so now that you know this from grade 11 let's talk about reflections because inverse functions are nothing but just reflection so in grade 11, grade 11, you were told that above the x-axis, h of x will yield, let's say you have f of x is 2x minus 1. Ne? If f of x equals to 2x minus 1, and they say that you have to reflect f of x above the x-axis to get h of x, you know that h of x will be a negative of the function. Because on the Cartesian plane, when you reflect above this x-axis, if the point is here, it's going to go this way basically if there was a positive y value now the y value will be negative and we all know that we all know that the y is basically the function f of x is y that is why the negative is multiplied by your y it changes its side so if the coordinates were like negative 2 and 3 now the new coordinate will be negative 2 and negative 3 the 3 will change but now if you're reflecting the whole function rather than just a point the whole function you just multiply the whole function will be like the new graph will be equal to the a negative affecting the old graph now the old graph is basically 2x minus 1 you have 2x minus 1 you multiply both the terms by negative distribution then you have negative 2x positive 1 that's going to be your new reflected about the line uh, above the x-axis function this is your your new reflected graph and now if you want to reflect it above the y-axis, you have to substitute every x-coordinate or every x-value, every x-variable on the function by a negative x. Basically, we're multiplying x by negative. So now that's why we're saying f of x, f, uh, h of x, the new function, will yield f of negative x. Where you see x or x, you substitute by negative x. So the new function will be equals to f of negative x. So it will be h of x equals to f of negative x means on f of x, you substitute x by negative x. Therefore, here you see x, you substitute it by negative x. Therefore, h of x will be what? Negative 2x minus 1. This will be your new function. This is from grade 11. Now, in grade 12, it's going to be a bit more interesting. See, in grade 12, we, we're dealing with inverse. Inverse is, in, the inverse function is nothing but reflecting a graph above the line y equals to x. Which line is that? Remember, this is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. Now, which line is y equals to x? This one here. This one, which yields 45 degrees from the x-axis. It basically cuts this quadrant into two equal halves and this quadrant into two equal halves right so if we had a point on this line here the point will just be one and one or two and two three and three the y's and the x values on the on this line are equal are the same so when we reflect a gra a point above this line this line will be our mirror line basically this point will be this way so how do you reflect above this line instead of multiplying the x the y with negative or the x with negative for this reflection, you just swap because x equals to y, y equals to x simply because of this line. Therefore, you swap. Where there was x, you put y. And where there was y, you put x. Now it's going to be 3 and 2. So the new coordinate will be 3 and 2. So if it was 2 and 3, now it's just 3 and 2. See? 
So this is going to be your new point. So if another coordinate was, um, let's say for an example, we had uh, maybe let's say negative three and uh, one as a point here, the new the new point will be what negative the new point will be one and negative three. It will be somewhere here, which is one and negative three. Makes sense. So you just swap. So now with functions, now if I want to get an inverse function of an inverse, or if I want to reflect the whole graph, this for an example, the linear one, if I want to reflect it above this line, we are talking about inverse functions now. There's an it's a new whole concept which is going to be the concept for grade 12 functions. So the next the next video will be about that reflecting a graph not just a point but a graph above this line so if there's if they tell you to find the inverse function of a particular graph or of a particular equation or i mean function just know that you are reflecting it above this line makes sense